Welcome to our Stay Healthy This Holiday Season webinar. Get SNAP, get insured, and get vaccinated. Um, we are from Aperture's Community Health Center, and today we have um, Tiffany Jones, which is me, um, the Nutrition Outreach and Education Project Coordinator. We also have Callie Patterson here, the Outreach and Enrollment Specialist. And then we have Kenji Jones, um, who is the COVID-19 Outreach Manager. We also have Catherine Dorowski joining us. She is the SNAP Manager. And we have Cynthia Chan joining us, and she is the EMP Manager. Here at Aperture Community Health Center, our mission is to improve the health of our community and increase access to comprehensive primary care, preventative health services, mental health services, and support services. We're committed to excellence and to providing culturally, culturally competent services that enhance the quality of life. Here are some of the services that are provided at Aperture Community Health Center. So our medical services are primary care, HIV services, transgender services, PrEP and PEP services, behavioral health services, and HIV and STD testing. Our non-medical services that we provide are NOAP, the Nutrition Outreach and Education Project um, slash SNAP. Um, we also provide medical insurance enrollment, Project Connect and the Community Mobilization Project. For more information on how you can access these services, you can visit um, our website at www.aperture.org. Also, you can call our toll free line, which is available Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 30 p.m. at um, 866 274 24. To nine. And then you can also reach our clinic from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday, and their number is 212-334-6029. So today we'll have presentations on SNAP, EMP, and COVID-19. What is SNAP? SNAP is a monthly supplement for your food budget. SNAP is accepted at most grocery stores and participating farmers markets. Benefit amounts can range from, 20, from a minimum of $20 to a maximum of $250 per month for, for a household of one, if eligible. Benefits amount may vary depending on household size and income. So who is eligible for SNAP? Households must meet, must meet the following requirements. Individuals must be a US citizen or a legal permanent resident of at least five years or have granted asylee or refugee status. Households must be within the household size and income guidelines, which you are going to see on the next slide. These are the income guidelines for households. And here you can see that um, households need to fall within the range for the federal poverty levels. So the 200% federal poverty limit is for elderly or disabled um, individuals or for people who have out-of-pocket care costs. And then the 150% federal, federal poverty limit is for those who are employed um, and have earned income. And then the 130% federal poverty limit are for those who do not meet either um, the 150 or 200% federal poverty limit. So for example, a household of one um, with an individual who is not disabled, not elderly, no out-of-pocket care costs and is not employed would fall under the 130% federal poverty limit. They cannot have any income greater than $1,396 and, and the maximum amount of benefits that they can receive per month for a household of one would be $250. But again, um, the amount that you receive for your benefits might vary. 
So these are the documents that you are required to provide um, when you apply for SNAP. So you would need a utility bill, a pay stuff, a pay stub if you are employed, your social security card, your birth certificate, your passport, and your ID. Along with other documents, but the documents may vary depending on what your application requires. So, as I mentioned earlier, I am the Nutrition Outreach Project Coordinator. So the, nutri the Nutrition Outreach Education Project is um, a project where we help individuals enroll into SNAP. So me as a no coordinator, it's my duty to pre-screen for eligibility, provide an estimate amount for benefits, assist with the entire application process from start to finish if you would like. Um, it's also my um, duty to mediate cases, um, ask, for review of, ask for review of cases, and send additional additional documents that are needed to the HRA to minimize fair hearings. So why don't people apply for SNAP? Some people don't think that they qualify. Some people think it might be too difficult. And some people just think that someone else needs it more than they do. But my advice is to, if you, apply, if you qualify, apply. Um, okay, and lastly, how to apply for SNAP. You can do the SNAP application online at the website provided um, below. Also, you can go to the website provided um, if you need a paper application. And also, I just have a link to the HRA document upload app. And if you would like assistance um, with applying for SNAP or are interested in um, the services that I can provide to you as a NOAA coordinator, please feel free to contact me. My email is tjones at aperture.org and my phone number is 1646-571-7751. And also if you are not in the Manhattan or Jackson Heights area, um, you can go to hungersolutions.org slash findfoodhelp um, to find your local coordinator, your local NOAA coordinator. Um, and now we are going to have some in information presented by Callie Patterson. Thank you, Tiffany. Hello everyone, my name is Callie Patterson. I'm the Outreach and Enrollment Specialist for Aperture Community Health Center. What we do here at Aperture with helping folks enroll in New York State of Health Marketplace is either help with an existing application or start a new application with you to help guide you through the process and get you deserved benefits of health insurance. So Aperture CHC's Enroll in Manhattan Project seeks to help New Yorkers obtain care through understanding health insurance, how it can best work for them and helping those who are uninsured and underinsured enroll in health insurance through the New York State of Health Marketplace. Next slide, please. Who is eligible, eligible to apply? Everyone under the age of 65 is eligible to apply through the New York State Marketplace through Aperture's EMP Health Navigators. Individuals 65 and older seeking help may be referred to partnering agencies. So if you are 65 and older and need assistance with your application for health insurance, be it Medicare, we can get you a referring agency. Get connected to a navigator. Navigators are available by appointment only. To schedule, you can visit www.aperture.org or call our clinic at 212-334-6029 or our toll-free line at 866-274-2429. Our clinic hours of operation are from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And our toll-free line is available Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. 
Um, thank you so much, Callie and Tiffany, for starting out the presentation. Um, my name is Kenji Jones. I'm the COVID-19 Outreach Manager here at Apache Community Health Center. So I'm here to talk a little bit about COVID-19 and the holidays. So a lot of people ask around these times, how can we protect our loved ones from COVID-19? And the biggest way and the best way to protect each other from getting COVID-19 is to get vaccinated. COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. And right now, everyone five years and older is eligible to get a COVID-19 vaccination. If you have any questions or concerns about COVID-19 vaccination, I would recommend you speak to your primary care doctor. Next slide. So right now, we also encourage everyone to get boosted. Um, the FDA just approved um, booster vaccinations for everyone 18 and older. So if you received Johnson & Johnson's Janssen vaccine, you're eligible for a booster if you're 18 years or older, and you can receive it two months after your shot. Or you can receive any of the other COVID-19 vaccines that are authorized in the United States. So for your booster, if you got Janssen, you can also get Moderna or Pfizer. So if you received Pfizer, BioNTech, or Moderna, you're eligible for a booster if you're 18 or older. And you can get this booster at least six months after completing your primary COVID-19 vaccination series. And again, you can get any of the COVID-19 vaccines that are authorized in the United States as your booster. Next slide. And we encourage you to get vaccinated at Apicha. To make an appointment, you can call our clinic at the number we've listed a couple times already, but again, it's 212-334-6029. We offer Moderna, the Moderna Booster, Johnson & Johnson, and the Johnson & Johnson Booster. Or if you're not located close to um, 400 Broadway, Apicha Community Health Center, you can find a more convenient vaccination site at vaccinefinder.nyc.gov. Next slide. So as well as getting vaccinated, you should get tested as well. Both are always free. If you go to places like CityMD or the van vaccination sites that are at many um, popular or highly trafficked subway stations, all of these are free, um, whether you have insurance or not. So before each holiday gathering, we really encourage you to make sure your family and loved ones are COVID-19 negative. It might seem like a huge task to have everyone go out and get tested, but it's really worth it to keep your family safe and healthy. So if anyone, if you guys would like more information um, or assistance, please contact any of the people you see listed below, which is myself, um, the NOB coordinator, Catherine Dabowski, the SNAP manager for insurance. You can contact Callie Patterson um, for COVID-19 vaccination. You can contact Co um, Kenji Jones. And then to access any other services that we offer here at Apicha, please feel free to contact our clinic or toll-free lines.